can see it's dark out. Well, I got the light setting on the camera pretty high, so it's probably sucking in all the light it can. You can see the pole lights are still on, even across the street and everywhere else. All the lights are on. See, all the lights are on. But it's uh, fairly, it looks like a pretty bright uh, evening, actually. So. I can see in the camera in here that it's picking up the light pretty good. Anyway, Saturday morning, getting ready to go to the uh, Mercedes-Benz International Club meeting over in Daytona. Um, so, going to be a warm day. It's probably 6 o'clock in the morning now. And it feels like it's about 75, 78 out. So it's going to be a warm day. So I'm going to take you along and um, see what we can see and um, I'll take some pictures and post them and you might be interested, you might not, but uh, uh, we're going to do it. So let's get this show on the road. Well, 7.30, I'm waiting for Polly. he said he'd be here at 7.30. So in the meantime, the water sprinklers are working this morning. I water about, uh, mm, it depends on if we got rainstorms coming in or not, but on average about twice a week. It goes by zones. My front yard here is uh, zone one. And then zone two will come on, and that's all the plants around the house. You know, water all the plants. And then zone three is on the back left of the house. And then zone four, I think, is on the right side of the house between me and, and my, my house over there. But uh, as you can see, it does a pretty good job. I mean, uh, the heads on my sprinklers aren't the new updated ones. I thought about changing them, but uh, they're okay. I'll just leave them alone for a while. Oh my God, he's bringing this old Mercedes. We're taking the old Mercedes. Look at this guy. Look at here what I'm going to be riding in, going to the Daytona Mercedes Club. Hey, Paul. How you doing? Are we going to take this piece of shit? <laughs> These guys pop me in, so. <laughs> okay. We're going to be in for a really embarrassing day. Okay. I better not be pushing. There's no uh, air conditioning or anything. All right. Well, here we are over at Rohan about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, waiting for all the guys to get here to head over to Daytona. And uh, over there... If you can see it or not, let me zoom in. Apparently my automatic zoom is off. Pickleball. We're at the Rohan Center. And uh, that's the Rohan Center over there. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a better, better shot. That's the Rohan Center. Very large parking lot goes around. Uh, there's all kinds of things to do. This camera's really not picking it all up. You got pickleball here, tennis over there, horseshoes, shuffleboard is uh, way over there. Inside there's a sports pool for water volleyball and the such, lap swimming. Um, they've got somewhere around here they used to have when they first opened this up. Maybe it's a temporary track, but I don't know what you call it. Uh, the miniature gas race cars, remote control race cars, they had a racetrack here. And uh, I don't know where it is. They may not have it anymore, they may have done away with it, but I think they got air rifle here somewhere. Over there is the, is the newest gas station they've opened up. Over there is a uh, shopping center that's right here in this area. So this area is, uh, has grown quickly and it'll be the same way in Finney. It'll, it'll grow quickly. Here's a, from the other side of a parking lot, not all the way, I'll give you another angle. That right out there is Morris Boulevard, and you come off the roundabout onto that road, and it goes right on over there to the uh, shopping center, which is over there, 
gas station is uh, right there. And that's the Mercedes Club right there. So I guess we're getting ready to go. They're doing their little, um, they're doing their little getting together on how to go, set the route, meet and greet and whatever. So let's get this show on the road. Well, boys and girls, we made it. <laughs> we, 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 we had to stop and drive around a little bit, but we finally got here. I thought Dominic had GPS. <laughs> Here's a cutaway body of uh, one of the NASCARs. You can see all the crap they, they have to get in here. around the clock and it is non-stop. Now we do have an infield road course that is used by the motorcycles when they're here and it's used by the WKA which is the World Karting Association when they come a uh, mild tri -oval. Now I'm going to go into the month of February. The month of February is all about stock cars here at the Speedway. The first group that's going to come in will be the ARCA Racing Series and they will come in eight days recycle month here. This year it started on March 9th, it ran through March 18th, it's a nine day event, and according to our local newspapers, that, had, that brought in close to a half a million, that's 500,000 motorcycles and motorcycle enthusiasts to Daytona Beach and the Speedway area. They do come out here to the Speedway because on both sides of the tram right now. Look at this guy. Chris Stable, we drive all this way over here to get a tour Chris of the track, the Lambert, and he's playing on his phone. Then in uh, July, we have our summer race here for the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup cars. That's over the 4th of July week. Then in October, coming up in about a month, uh, the motorcycles will come back to town. This time it's only a four-day event. That is called Fightoberfest. It features the summit of different types of racing we have here throughout the year. You take a look at this picture right on the side of the truck now. Those are actually cars right here that we area. And you're probably going to see some of those wide long cars on the up at the top of the speedway, you will see what we call our safer barrier, styrofoam pyramids, and outside of that is the old cement wall. I do have to tell you, when the cup cars are coming through this area, they are coming through here three wide. They are door handle to door handle. They are bumper to bumper. Fine. Now, if they do get into that safer barrier, and steel tubing has been designed to bend and fold, the styrofoam will compress thus dissipating much of the energy of the impact, which greatly reduces any serious injury to the driver whatsoever. Now we do have that safer barrier all the way around the inside of the track as well. Down at uh, this end that I'd like to point out before we continue on with the tour. If you look over there, you can actually see where the high banks start transitioning into the back strap. the rear trap, even catching a side draft, by the time they enter turn three, that is one of their fastest portions on the speedway, they will be doing about 202 to 205 miles per hour. You see uh, numbers one through 15 running vertically. Uh, next to those numbers will be the number of the car that's currently running in that position. Uh, uh, multicolored section, at very top row is 150 feet up there, or 15 stories off the ground. Yeah, so Bill Wade's 